Okay, there I am. <laughs> Sorry for that awkward delay there. <laughs> I was like all ready to rock and roll, and then, and then I suddenly saw that I was apparently not ready to rock and roll. <laughs> I agree. I think I might be slightly more entertaining when you can hear me. <laughs> but only a little bit. <laughs> what are you yelling about? Where are you? Okay, I, I heard Vincent, but he's nowhere to be seen. So. He'll wander around. Hilariously, the thing I was gonna say is because I don't have a mic on my loading screen, like, I just don't have a channel for my mic, uh, because there's no point. I'm not gonna talk on that screen anyway. But, um, I was gonna make the, the comment that if I were to ever be unmuted on that screen, you all would basically just hear me cleaning my glasses and sl sipping loudly as I take drinks of water. <laughs> but, uh, uh, let's, uh, let's talk about the gym badges. <laughs> I've got- there he is. Cute guy. Yeah, I've got all the badges. Oh wow. Here they all are. We're just doing the gym badges from Paldea. Uh, you do get a badge from Arvin for every Titan Pokemon you beat, and also you get a badge from the Team Star leaders, but um, uh, 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 those don't count. They're not like, like Pokemon League sanctioned badges. So we're just doing the ones you get from gym leaders. However, that does mean we get like all the ones from uh, uh, black and, like, black and white, and also black and white too. So, uh, uh, yeah. So we've got plenty to work with. Um, hooray, woohow. <laughs> we can always add more tears if we need to, but what we've got so far, uh, it's gonna be stunning, root one, uh, as in, like, like, this is a pretty basic interpretation of this type of badge. Uh, that ain't right, just boring and ugly. Uh, uh, so, yeah. If Doug had a gym badge, what would it look like? It would just be his, his head. <laughs> just his head. <laughs> you now have three deaths in your Nuzlocke? That's not too bad. I'm no good at Nuzlocke's, so I don't do them. I don't like them. <laughs> I've got on my phone the name of the badges. I don't have them, uh, 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 uh. Uh, what the fuck was I saying? Y'all distracted me. I don't have them all memorized. So, yeah, I've got them on my phone. So, let's rock and roll. Let's have fun. First up, we've got the boulder badge. We get this from Brock. Uh, you know, being the- f I gotta say, the first gym badges were kind of hot bangers. They evened out, like, like they got more- consistent moving forward but Kanto like for being Kanto they didn't have to go this hard <laughs> these are really what makes me sit here and wish I had pins of all the badges um, that being said boulder badge just kind of looking like a rock it's a little root one I gotta be honest it's it's just a rock <laughs> <laughs> like, listen, I love you, Brock, but it's just a rock. Also, they don't all have fun, cool names. Like, eventually they'll be, like, like just- Like, I'm pretty sure the Paldean ones are just named after their town. So, the, the, the name can save them. <laughs> it's a rock. <laughs> uh, real polygon theme, Akanto. Yeah, it's all they had. Edges were hard. Cascade badge, gifted by Misty upon defeat. Great name. Who uses? Thank you. It's Teresa. <laughs> uh, cascade is a very niche water word, so that's great because that's really all this has going for it is that it's it's just a water drop. It lo I love the color. But it's just a water drop. <laughs> they they get better from here, I think. <laughs> Makes sense since it's the first badge. Yeah, you know, it's not it's not bad. <laughs> it's just it's just boring. Okay, here's the next one. Who all remembers what badge this is? 
we're going in order. Does everybody remember what the third, what the third badge is you get in Kanto? <laughs> I feel like Dora. Do you all know how to say the next gym badge in Spanish? <laughs> it is Surge! This is the Thunder Badge! No, it fucking is not! This does not look like Thunder! That's a Sunflower! <laughs> that is a flower! That ain't right. <laughs> like... Bad. Thunder Badge should- that's a flower! <laughs> I, I'm not wrong. <laughs> yeah, they don't all match. It's why we've got the that ain't right badge section. <laughs> that's the thunder badge. <laughs> I'm so glad you all actually answered, but it's yellow. You're right. Nothing else is yellow. Daisies, those are electric. The sun, synonymous with thunder. <laughs> Ducklets, yeah, everyone knows you touch those, you're getting 20 volts <laughs> straight to the heart. <laughs> Tweety bird. <laughs> you're right, you're right, it's yellow, so that means it counts. The rainbow badge is next. And the name is a little on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> Did Serge not go to school? That's a sun. Yeah, if this were a fire gym, I could accept that. But I feel like he could he's furthest away from all electric things he could have been. <laughs> <laughs> Sunflower equals lightning. <laughs> Give me the Sunflora Mega that gives it the electric type. Yeah, Rainbow Badge, I mean, you know, I gotta be honest, it really is stunning. Look at how pretty it is. God damn. And for that being, that's Erica's gym. She's just a grass type gym leader. That could have been a boring ass leaf. That could have been, you, you know, a, a flower. <laughs> but having it be rainbow flower, it's excellent. Canonically, Erica only employs ladies in her gym. Um, and you can tell. That they were like, okay, but we need our badge to actually look good. <laughs> did you see what Surge did? <laughs> we can't be a laughing stock like Surge. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know why Twitch moved you to some other schmuck stream. Oh no, well, well, I'm sure they appreciated your view for the, uh, for the 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 one minute you were over there. <laughs> <laughs> Sunflowers are cute. I always really like Sunflora. They're just not very good. And so I've been number one, give Sunflora a mega, give it a new evolution, give it a new like regional variant. That is all me. I cannot believe they didn't get anything for Gen 9 because Brassius' whole thing is Sunflora's. Um, but whatever. What even ever? I'm not even mad. I don't even care. <laughs> I care immensely. <laughs> Is that the Triforce next to Doug? Not quite. That is a, it's, a, we'll get to that badge later. <laughs> yeah, haven't missed much. We're only four badges in. Don't worry, don't worry. Next up is the Soul Badge. This is the one uh, from Koga. Um, the poison type gym leader. Personally, I, every time I see the Soul Badge, the name and the visual of it makes me think of Erica, the psychic type gym leader. Um... It's not boring, for sure. It's pretty cute. You know, I... Does it go into stunning? It's not room one. Because it could have been just like a purple poison drop or something. What else do you do for a poison type, Jim? We'll put it in stunning. I like it. It's... Stunning is basically the, the tier that, like... The ones I want to be able to put on my backpack. You know? <laughs> Twins, I gotta go to bed. Well, adios. Sleep a good. I'm glad you got to see Doug. <laughs> but yeah, the soul badge could be a lot worse. Next one is anomalous, though. It is Erica's badge. The psychic type gym leader. And you look at that, and it's like, oh, you know, it looks kind of like calm mind, I guess. You know, it's like a, like, like a... It's Alakazam colored, at least. Oh, yes, Sabrina, my bad. <laughs> yeah, it sounded wrong in my head. I think there's a witch 
named Erica <laughs> and some other thing. <laughs> anyway, it's called the Marsh Badge. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is it called that? And so that plus it being kind of nondescript coin. I, I don't like the Marsh Badge. I don't like it. It's- that ain't right. <laughs> I know, why is it called that? <laughs> Sabrina the Teenage Psychic Esper, I meant. <laughs> I- I want to like it more. It's not even like the right color. The soul- okay. The Marsh Badge looks nice alongside the rest of Kanto's badges. But in a vacuum, no one wants their first badge to be the Marsh Badge, you know? <laughs> Maybe Soul Badge was supposed to symbolize cherry petals from town? Hey, now that's an idea. We d would all read it like such a little heart, but now that you say the words, it does also kind of look like cherry petals. Neato! I like that. Fun stuff. I like that. I like that. <laughs> uh, 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 next up, we got the Volcano Badge. A very cool name for- it should have just been called the Flame Badge, let's be honest. I guess Blaine's gym is in a volcano, but the, I, honestly, it's not just Rue 1, it's just boring. <laughs> it's, it's not even exciting with the colors. Like, I don't know, man, you, you gotta work a little bit harder than this. At least put it like a, an orange in there. <laughs> yeah, the episode with Sabrina was crazy. I liked it a lot. It was really memorable. Finally, we've got the Earth Badge from Kanto from Giovanni. I guess it's kind of the only thing you can do. It's a little sprout. So this looks a lot like a leaf to us, but I'm pretty sure this is like a more confidently like, it's like a seedling. And how else do you do earth, I suppose? Brock already took the rock looking, looking idea. Welcome, come on in. You're just in time for the wrapping up of Kanto's badges. I think, uh, it's, it's, I think we need to add a tier between stunning and root one. I think we need to add something that's like good enough. <laughs> yeah, it does kind of look like cattails. Like it's like, it's not root one per se, but it's not stunning. So let's, let's add a, a tier. We'll make it a purple. Why not? Oh, no, hang on. Add a row below. Great. I've learned. I've learned how to do this properly. I just need to do it slowly. <laughs> Good enough in uh, spell wrong and in all lowercase. <laughs> and that's where the earth badge goes. <laughs> Excellent. Pizzazzy. For real, for real. Pretty sure it's a feather, but don't quote me on that. It definitely looks more like a feather in, like, different instances of... Like, some artwork has it look more like a feather. So, it's so valid of you to think that. Because <laughs> sometimes it is. <laughs> it's a leaf that looks like a feather and it's called the Earth Badge. Yeah, <laughs> this fits blue with his lack of type speciality. It does certainly work better for blue, I say. Do we want to bump soul to good enough or leave it? Um, yeah, we will. It's cute, but I think we gotta really value the stunning section. But that means we're into Johto. I really like Johto. First up, we've got the Zephyr badge. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Hello, welcome. <laughs> Zephyr badge definitely has a very cool name. This is from Faulkner. And you know what? I like this design. It feels like the wings of a Pokemon. Yeah, great name. I think I'll put it into good enough. It's not stunning, because the color is pretty boring, but you know what, like, that's a pretty- it's a- it's a good one. I- I could guess flying type by looking at it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, but other than the visuals, it, if there had been like a fancy pink stripe in there, I think we would have been aces. <laughs> uh, uh, next up, the hive badge from Bugsy. Which, you know, there's a part of me that thinks, oh, that's a little root one. But then there's another part of me that's like, 
No, man, that's a ladybug. That's, it's, it's pretty sick. <laughs> None of the other bug badges look like a little buggy. And that's, and to choose a, a ladybug as well. It's pretty cool. I think I'm gonna put it into stunning. I like it. I want a cute little ladybug badge. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't use ladybug though. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe in like official tournaments, Bugsy would. But uh, I guess it's a little bit easier to make a ladybug and not <laughs> a scyther. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a bee could have worked. Uh, were there bee Pokemon? Oh, I guess bee drill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, next up might be one of the worst. This. This is the plain badge from Whitney. And plain as in, like, a field. Plains and valleys kind of a thing. Um, hideous pea soup color. <laughs> oh, it's the plain badge, all right. Uh, 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 this is a goalie. A goalie, especially for Whitney. Whitney's whole thing is the color pink. I, it, bitch where? You know, this looks like she did not make her badge and I guess they don't, but it's like she didn't even ask, like she didn't even have a hand in the design process. <laughs> I hate the plain badge. I want that. I want my piss and that's what that badge looks like. <laughs> what a sentence. <laughs> it's quite plain and boring, especially after dealing with Miltank. I guess, you know, I kind of wish it looked like Miltank. <gasps> <laughs> uh, next up, a, a not great name. The Fog Badge. Uh, but this is Morty's. And you know what? That does look like a sad little ghost guy. I feel like this is kind of like how ghosts are generally represented across Pokemon, like, moving forward. I'm gonna call it Route 1, uh, but it's- it's a good Route 1, you know. Being Route 1 doesn't mean it's bad, it's just a little on the nose. Kinda basic. <laughs> Nothing that makes me go, ooh, wow. <laughs> Did you just grab a floor tile? Yeah. <laughs> From Whitney. <laughs> okay, this next one. So this is the one that Chuck gives you. Uh, he's the fighting type gym leader. And it's a pretty Route 1 uh, fist. Uh, not terrible, but, you know, it's it's Route 1. It's called the Storm Badge. Why? Why, Chuck? Why? <laughs> that doesn't even- Yeah, Storm! He doesn't even do, like, thunder and lightning. Like, he he has his waterfalls. You know, like, he trains by sitting under waterfalls. His main Pokemon is Poliwrath, so there's a, a water theme to him. But Storm has never been that theme. Storm throw hadn't even been invented yet. You're right. <laughs> Storm of fists. It's a, a W for wow. That's a stretch. It's, you know, I'm not going to give Chuck the benefit of the doubt. I think he could have done better than that. So, and that's why it goes into actually it's going to go into that ain't right. <laughs> I'm going to need to talk to whoever naming these badges and send them back to school. Some of them are so good. Cascade badge. So, excellent. Soul badge? It could have just been called the toxic badge. And then you get fucking storm. <laughs> its shape doesn't fit with the other badges. They're all single shape, but his has a second shape outside the main one, which is another good point, Marvelous Mr. Pokemon. It is, the thumb does look tacked on. I kind of wish the thumb was just like a pattern on the inside. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just not something that I could, like, really articulate before. <laughs> There's one later that I find really funny. I'm excited for us to get to it. Should be called the Punch-Out Badge. <laughs> Next up is another fucking boring ass- This is the Mineral Badge. This is from Jasmine. Steel-type. Um, I'm gonna- That's just boring. 
You know, that's so boring, it makes me reconsider Blaine being in Just Boring. I think I need to blump, b blump Blaine up <laughs> into the good enough or the root one. Because you know what? It's root one, but goddamn, that is just boring. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, hexagon, great hexagon. <laughs> it's like... She used to be a rock type gym leader. This is a new development for her to become a steel type. And was this what she had? This is hey, can I can I copy your homework? Yeah, just you know, make sure you change enough of it with her and Brock's. <laughs> My favorite shape and color. <laughs> so it should have been called the crystal badge. You're right. That I would yeah, that would perhaps bump it up. <laughs> but the mineral badge, and it's a, a gray stop sign. Boo. Especially compared to the glacier badge. Oh my. That's cool. What a cool way to do it. A part of me wishes that like the background was clear. Um, but that just wasn't what they were doing at the time. They've all got like that border. So, but, but I quite like the glacier badge. Is the name doing a lot of that? Perhaps. It is just like a funny snowflake. But it is it's a it's a good name. <laughs> I think I think that's good enough. <laughs> Thought it was like a stylized radioactive symbol. I do see how you can think that. <laughs> they should do that for a poison type gym at some point in the future. That'd be neat. That'd be neat and cool. But honestly, you know, we're wasting our time. Uh, with all these other Johto badges, when the rising badge looks like this, that's fucking sick nasty. The rising badge, it's the dragon badge you get from Claire. The only downside is that the horns look cut off in the dragon head. It looks like it should have longer horns that, that uh, you know, isn't allowed to go that far up. But goddamn... That's got cool colors, a cool shape. It's a dragon. <laughs> it's super fly. It works, so I can see how you'd think it work. It'd be for a dark type. I think it reads clearly as dragon because the dragon type is so often associated with this dark blue. So I think that's why it's working for me. But I do see how you're feeling that. It looks good, but if it has snowflake prices on the side pieces like prices on the side it would be great you're not wrong I, you know it could have been enhanced but but i think uh who fucking was this again price yeah <laughs> pricing what's the, oh, price yeah <laughs> price shouldn't be disappointed don't get don't get qu don't quite get why it's called rising i believe it's like it's th so you know that story about think about gyarados how it's that story of a koi fish that, like, ascends a waterfall and becomes a dragon. Um, I think it's, like, supposed to be like that. Dragons also rise. You know, they fly pretty consistently. <laughs> so, yeah. Great stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Waterfall fish. Catfish. Not koi. Well, I thought it was a koi. Also, that is not how you spell koi. <laughs> K-O-I. <laughs> Love how ugly and it's just a yellow square. <laughs> Clearly, it's spelled koi. <laughs> uh, actually, it's it's spelled like this. It's, um... It's Q U Q U O I Koi. Uh, Jodo did pretty well, even with our first uh, draft into a goalie. <laughs> it's a koi koi. <laughs> I'm glad we all have one brain cell, and <laughs> we all have to share it. Next up, I feel like I, I've seen the stone badge a trillion million times. <laughs> Koi, pronounced kawaii. <laughs> Koi, did I get it? <laughs> carp? Google says it's carp. Oh, we're all fucking stupid. Of course it's a carp. Literally, it's magic carp. <laughs> it wasn't even a Koi. <laughs> Currently 
being chased by a bunch of wild stuffles. I love stuffle. So that could be a lot worse. <laughs> We're all fucking so dumb. <laughs> Um, the stone badge! The stone badge is next. This is from Roxanne. This makes no sense. Th that ain't right. I would think, if anything, that's a fighting type gym badge. These arrows, it feels like it's doing, like, reversal. Like, if it feels like... What's, what's that one type of, like, a, a grapple-heavy fight style? Is it jujutsu? Where they, like, it's a lot of, like gripping and, and grappling and flipping kind of a deal. It feels like that is what it's trying to convey. That is not a stone badge. That's a fight flip badge. <laughs> Left right badge. <laughs> Magic koi. <laughs> oh, it might be judo. Judo and or jujitsu. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like tectonic plates. That is the best argument I think I'm going to see for the stone badge. Um, uh, I respect them trying to do not just a gray hexagon again. <laughs> but uh, uh, I stand by my assertion that that looks like a fighting type gym badge. Ooh, my phone's getting toasty. Bulbapedia really nukes my battery. Next up is the knuckle badge. Uh, this is from Brawly. It is a fighting type gym. That's his colors. That looks like a, a punch and like, like, fist. You know, that's good enough. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> it, you know, if you don't know any better, it could kind of look like Beldum on its side. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Looks like a cannon. It does look like a cannon. That's the thing. It's like, I I get it, but it's stylized just enough with the orange thumb part of the fist looking like a gemstone that it's so easy to not read it as as a, uh, a boxing glove. <laughs> it does look like Beldum. It does! It looks like that! It looks like a cannon! It does kind of look like uh, uh, a pipe. It's- there's a lot that it kind of looks like instead. Which is why it's really only good enough. <laughs> it's certainly more interesting than Rue 1. <laughs> Watson's badge looks like a a diode. Neat. What is a diode? <laughs> but you're right, that is Watson's badge. Oh no, I've got to reload the page. Hang on. I'll tell you what it's called in just a second. But it is, yeah, Watson's badge, which is electric. So if it looks like a diode, and you can tell me what that is, because I am... So smart. I just need to make sure you guys know what a diode is. <laughs> but, uh, but if that can help his case. Dynamo, that's what it's called. It's the Dynamo Badge. Which is a cool name and honestly a, a pretty sick design. This, like, yellow fade to teal is, is pretty solid. Dynamo Badge is so funny to me because it looks like nothing. <laughs> I do like it though. Like, it's the thing where I think it looks so cool that even though I don't know what a diode is, <laughs> I, I think it's pretty damn stunning. And that's cool shit right there. I like the fade. We don't have a whole lot of gradients with gym badges, so 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 I think it's I think it's cool. I kind of know what a diode is. I don't know how to describe it or know what it does. Mmm. <laughs> One of those unknowns. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, I think I think it's super fly. Really fun. Next up is Flannery's badge, the heat badge, which I'm going to say is just as room one as Blaine's. <laughs> it's like... It's just fine. I don't understand why the heat badge has this gemstone, just like how how Brawly's badge does. But then, like, there isn't a gem in the dynamo badge or in the stone one. 
Like, why do only some of these have this, like, clear, inset jewel, jewel placings? <laughs> is better than Blaine's. It is. But Blaine's is also a little iconic. They're as good as each other, I think. I think I'd be happy with either. If someone was like, you get one of these as a pin, choose your favorite. I'd be like, hmm, fuck, damn, this is really close, you know? <laughs> it would kind of just depend on the day. <laughs> it's a nice shape, if perhaps a little inefficient as a pin. <laughs> because of Steven and Devon Corp, I just realized that's why that's there. Loud, incorrect sound. What, what, which part was incorrect? Was I incorrect? <laughs> Or because of the inset gems. Is that why... Is, oh. The only reason Blaine's badge is iconic is because it's the most common overused fire shape ever. It's true. You know, he... It's it's the benefit of being the first one. That's... It's really what it is. <laughs> I stand by it. <laughs> the pink... I think the pink helps it a little bit. It's my tier list. It's my birthday. I'll cry if I want to, you know. <laughs> Norman's, ba Norman's badge. Norman's badge is a weight. Just adds to his fighting type vibe. You're right. Which is next? It's the balance badge from normal Norman, and it does look like a weight. Which he does have fighting vibes. <laughs> the balance badge also like doesn't really convey anything. I like. Well, I guess normal is balanced, except it's not. <laughs> I I think you're right. That ain't right. That's another one that looks like it should be a fighting type. You're right. Want a red water drop with devil horns instead of an obvious fire badge? Yeah, but no, that you can't tell me that doesn't look like flame. Look at that. That's that's flame. That's retro flame. <laughs> It's supposed to be balanced, but it's off balance. Yeah, I was noticing that too. <laughs> like it's like if it's gonna be called the balance badge, I, I wish I wish it wasn't at an angle. <laughs> no, no, that's a joke. It's a song. It's I think it's I think it uh, it goes. It's my party. I'll cry if I want to. <laughs> I misquoted it. <laughs> Next up, though, we finally saw the feather badge. Now that's pretty slick stuff. It is a feather. This is from Winona, the flying gym. And it's a feather, but like, it's got like a second layer to the feather that gives it just a little extra push into good enough. It's not stunning, but that's, it's certainly better than being a root one, I think. That's a horn. I feel like I would agree more if it was on its side. Because it's up, it's like, that That's that helps make it be like, that's a wing. <laughs> Norman doesn't even convey anything. He just wants to be a gym teacher already. He really does. <laughs> I love Winona's design and stance in Oris. Uh, I think she looks really cool. Winona Superfly. Also, so scary. Next up is the Mind Badge from Tate and Lisa. This is a psychic gym. And I guess it's certainly better than Sabrina's Marsh Badge. Um... But I gotta say, and you know, this is a, a tad bit unfair because we're working with hindsight. Um, it that looks like a fairy type gym badge. However, at the time, fairy type gyms didn't exist. So I guess the next best guess, honestly, my thought process would go fairy, normal, psychic. And the only reason why I come to psychic is because it fades to yellow. However, it is very cute. So I think I'm going to put it into stunning. <laughs> I want that on my backpack. <laughs> Otherwise, it would go into that ain't right. But um, stunning overrides all other quality indicators. <laughs> This just adds to the idea that Koga's badge looks psychic. Which one was Koga's again? <laughs> uh, uh, oh yeah, it really does. <laughs> it's like one of those jelly cookies that people only give out during Christmas. They do! <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. They're called thumbprint cookies. 
I'm honestly torn on the rain badge. One hand, it fits Juan, but it's not flamboyant enough for Wallace. Oh, you know what? Actually, that's a good point. I was gonna say, I do wish that Tate and Lisa's mind badge, I wish it kind of had a duality to it. Even something as simple as the heart being made up of, like, two halves, like, just having a line down the center, I think, um, would be really great. For the only gym that is a double battle against two characters, I think that would have been really good. But, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> Watch a fairy, fairy type badge is in the shape of a brain or something and it's called the heart badge. <laughs> um, you, and you know, you're right. What you said, Orion, about the rain badge, this- I forgot that this- so, it's Wallace's badge, technically, however, Juan does take over that gym. And this does fit Juan a lot better than Wallace. What's up? Why is it also only like the- I don't get this one. I think it looks nice. <coughs> I just don't understand why it's like only one drop lit and why it's the bottom left drop lit <laughs> I'm gonna put it into good enough. I do like it, um, but I agree. I wish it had more going on for Wallace, and and I I I don't get the asymmetry. <laughs> Say Juan's name right, like you're trying to. <laughs> Akalugi, don't. <laughs> don't. <laughs> the link badge. <coughs> the tri Triforce badge. It is, it is giving Triforce. Hang on, my phone had to reload the page again because Bulbapedia is very mobile friendly. So we're, I'm scrolling slightly. Gives me an opportunity to cough loudly into the mic <laughs> for you guys. Next up, okay, we're into Sinnoh. And, uh, uh, Sinnoh is fascinating because you, you could, like, shine these with the, with the touch screen. Could keep your badges nice and shiny looking. Which means, I feel like I, I've looked at these a lot. Same with Unova. Uh, so that's fun. But, we're starting with the Cole badge. This is Rourke's badge. Um, another rock type badge. And I guess it is better than being just, you know, a boring rock. I'm not, I'm not getting any coal in this. This is really hurt by being one color. I'm gonna call this just boring. It's a shame. I'm in love with Rourke, you know? He's, he's a husband. But that, that, that's boring. It should have one other color. A, a, even a band of yellow to kind of represent um, his hard hat would be all right. <laughs> yeah, you can do music with the Sinnoh badges, which is pretty fly. It does look like a treasure chest. I don't know. I don't know what they were going for with this. He he has a mine mining facility. Is this supposed to imply coal under the earth? Well, it does it. Because it all just looks like rock. <laughs> I hate the Sinnoh badges as I do with all of Sinnoh. Wow, uh, an aggressive take. I'm also, I'm not number one Sinnoh fan either. I gotta be honest. But the, some of the badges are all right. For example, I think the forest badge is pretty swell. That does look like a forest. And, and it, it's green enough that it's like, that is the grass badge, you know? Forest badge, great name. That's pretty solid. I don't like how geometric it is. I'm not huge on just like geometric shapes. Obviously, I prefer, you know, funny pictures, like a buggy and a dragon. <laughs> you don't like the forest badge? It's, I think it's the best way to do something called a forest badge. You know, other than having just a bunch of overt trees, having it convey tree, but in this sort of minimalist way, I think is the best way to do a forest badge. But you're right, it's, it's not like... It's not anything too special. <laughs> Maylene's is next. This is okay. <laughs> Maylene, she's the fighting gym, which I always forget she's the third one. First of all, that does not look like a fighting gym badge. I thought this was a rock badge or a ground type badge. I'm not getting fighting in this. I think it's supposed to look like to Tommy Mats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but like, 
Eh. Eh. It does look like a puff pastry. And I get that they're trying to do like, like fighting's color with this orange, but you're right, it does look like, like a croissant. Also, it's called the cobble badge. So I'm gonna put this into that ain't right. <laughs> that does not look like a fighting type gym badge. It really does. <laughs> it took another floor tile. <laughs> it does look like a brick wall. Maybe they, so. I think it is supposed to look like Tatami mat flooring, but Tatami arguably fit Norman and the normal type better than the dumbbells he got. You're right. That 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 would have been a much better idea for Norman. Um, Maylene, also, her hair being pink, I so associate her with the color pink. And it makes me wish that we had some pink on here. Sinnoh's badges really suffer from not having that much color on them. They misspelled gobble. It was supposed to be pastry. <laughs> Gobbling down <laughs> croissants and bagels. <laughs> Thought it was supposed to look like a fist. I can see how, like, at a glance... Yeah, you could Rorschach yourself into thinking that. <laughs> Let's move on. Uh, to the Fen Badge. Confusing name. This is from Crash or Wake. I also don't like this. This is bo First, what's up with the name? Fen Badge. F-E-N. What is that? <laughs> yeah, Fen. I don't... I have no idea. And then also, so Crash or Wake is a water type gym. And this is just like, it's like a boring iteration of what was done well about Gardenia's forest badge. This is just boring. I don't like it. It's just boring. That's just a, a placid lake. It's, Fen is a swamp. He's a swamp. Well, th this should look more like a swamp. It doesn't. That looks like a placid lake surrounded by curved mountains. Looks like a snow globe that's half empty and no decorations inside. It does! It's bad. I don't like it. You know, is it ugly? No, I do like that color. But it's only half of it. it yeah, I don't like it. I, crash, that's so bad, it goes into ugly. <laughs> More like lake badge. Am I right? Am I right? You're right. <laughs> um, next up is... Fantina's Relic Badge. A confusing name. Why is it called that? But regardless, I think this one's pretty alright. It does kind of look like her. Like, it's got the right color as her, like, dress. And a similar shape as her hair. So, I'm gonna call it... Good Enough. Because it's not Rue 1. For a, for a ghost. This is a ghost. But it also doesn't really look like ghost stuff either. If I had to guess, I would think poison first. But uh, I really like that Fantina is officially Colosian. I agree. I think it's really fun. Ferris wheel badge. <laughs> I hate it. I want to stomp it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, that's, and that's honestly what it is. It is probably trying to give will-o'-wisps. Um, I think once someone says that, you can go, yeah, yeah, I see that. But I think it stands that it's not as immediately successfully conveyed as Gardania's forests. So actually, despite all, all, putting it up here, I've talked myself out of it, and I'm gonna put it into that ain't right. <laughs> Looks like Roxy's badge, which makes me think it's also poison. Exactly, it's... It looks poison. It looks too poison. It's- it's- it's the color. It's the color and lack of ghost. <laughs> I honestly can't tell what Byron's badge is. Is it supposed to be a biplane or something? Yeah, no idea. He's next. This is the mine badge. I don't- maybe it's supposed to be like the- like a- a, a drill? Like an excavator? Like, face on? The colors aren't even right. It's steel. He's It's a steel type gym. This one's ugly. I hate it. I hate the mine badge. It doesn't convey- Oh, wait! Wait, I see it! I see it! Can you guys see this? It's three pickaxes! It's three pickaxes! Like, the pick parts make the circle and their, their, like, handles are touching tips. 
And then I guess they're in front of a shield because he uses Bastiodon, which is like the shield Pokemon. Do you see it? <laughs> that that helped a lot. You know what? I'm, that bumps it up from ugly to good enough. <laughs> we got some character in that. That is really clever. It's just, you had to see it for a second. That's not done well. But once you, once you see it, it's like, oh my god. <laughs> dad, dad was cooking. <laughs> he was cooking in those mines. <laughs> wow we wow. Uh, next up is another good one, I think. Just, just straight up good. It's Candace's, Candace's, no, Candace's Icicle Badge. Um... You know, that's pretty solid. Have we not had an ice? Oh, it's certainly more interesting than Price's Just a Snowflake. I think it definitely goes up here in a good enough. Um, you know what? It's so well done that comparing it to Price's Snowflake has me be like, I need to bump that down. <laughs> It is a room one snowflake. It's just how it is. Is that Munchlax? You're going to have to specify. Oh, do you mean the glaciers? They do kind of look like Munchlax if you like squint. <laughs> I kind of thought that too. <laughs> Looks like a newbie drawing a crown for Elsa, but it is a crown for Elsa. And she's the ice one. You know, it, it landed on ice. Iceberg badge is better than snowflake badge. It just is. I don't make the rules. I demonstrably make the rules. I overtly make the rules. <laughs> uh, and then finally, we've got... So this looks terrible. This is Vokner's badge. He's the electric gym leader. And you see that and you go, what is it? That? That's fucking Melmetal. <laughs> Melmetal, damn near 10 years before it was announced. Um, it's the beacon badge. And then it all makes sense. It's his lighthouse. Uh, and it's like, you know what? That's alright. I think that's pretty good. For being- in a world where it could have just been a boring lightning bolt. Because we d haven't had that yet. <laughs> because- because Surge fucked up. <laughs> like, they could have just had a lightning bolt and having it be his lighthouse is pretty solid. So... That's, that's good enough. <laughs> What'd you miss? Uh, we did a little bit of rearranging and we just wrapped up Sinnoh. Fun fact, in the Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl games, you can cheat your way to Candace because they didn't account for the diagonal movement. Oh. <laughs> Those games seem less than great, but I don't feel bad for Sinnoh fans. Because they did also get Arceus Legends. So it's like, you know, how, how much can you complain? <laughs> Another light equals electricity badge. What are the electric gym leaders on? They're on light, I guess. Yeah, yeah, sharp badge era is true. I remember these ones are really thin. They like stack really thinly on your, on your screen. Um... Uh, and I gotta be honest, I don't love that. I prefer these kind of big, chonky guys. You know, over over these svelte thin boys. But don't, don't put them on your shirt, they'll poke you. <laughs> but I won't let that, um, you know, sway my, my opinions too much. Uh, I'll still try to... I can't just put them all into I don't like thin badges <laughs> tier. <laughs> Uh, uh, but, uh, my, my phone reloaded the page again, so, great. We've scrolled. So first up, wow, this sure is an exciting badge, and it actually really is. It's the Trio badge, given to you by Chili, Silent, and Chris, who, um, very notably use the three starter types of grass, fire, and water. So, you know what? I actually, despite saying I don't like the slim badges, I think that one's pretty cool. That's like an interesting way to convey the three brothers. It's it's clean and classy, uh, but with the sharp edges to make it f a little exciting. <laughs> <laughs> they do look like fancy pins. Um, what is this? 
Why is this one here? This is out of order. <laughs> well, we'll come back to the water drop. Oh, I remember. Oh, how'd that get there? Okay, we'll, we'll scroll down really quick. I remember this is um, Marlin's badge in Black and White 2. Uh, because, you know, the new gym leaders uh, got got their own badges, which is pretty neato. I don't know how the wave badge ended up second on this list I made, but it did. <laughs> um, it's as root one as Misty's, I gotta be honest. Being tiered is pretty nice, with a fade to to a darker blue, but um, it's, it's, it's not interesting enough. <laughs> it, it, that's really just just Misty's badge again. <laughs> so, uh, boo. <laughs> Which is tan was his skin skin color? I mean, you never really see, like, his legs anyway. So, it's not hard to just pretend, isn't it? I also do like Marlin a lot. Making that one edit, I didn't actually put it. You might remember when I ranked the Unova gym leaders, I edited Marlin. Uh, like, if he stayed inside and lost his tan. Um, significantly less handsome. Uh, it also, it felt so cursed that I was like, I can't put this on screen. Also, I was a little worried people would accuse me of whitewashing, even though he is a, a white guy with a tan. Um, but moreover, it was just like, you know what? Let's not subject everyone else to this. He looked worse. But anyway, let's get back on topic. <laughs> With the basic badge. Yeah, you're damn right, Lenora. Also, Sharon takes over this badge. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, th that's just boring. That's just a rectangle. Why is it even that color? I guess it's a nice color, but it's the basic badge. Just because you're a normal gym doesn't mean your badge has to look that fucking boring. <laughs> is it like... A book spine? I guess it might be. That's the best guess I could have. That makes it nominally more interesting. It does look like a military badge on its side. You're not wrong. I... I think it's boring. It being a book spine is an interesting idea. But not interesting enough. <laughs> and if it were interesting enough, that still doesn't convey normal. That makes it feel like a psychic one. So at best, I would put it into that ain't right. So I guess I'll do that. <laughs> still just a rectangle so far. Yeah, I'm right. I'm right. It's boring. <laughs> it's my list. <laughs> I get that Berg's badge is supposed to be a bug, but it really looks like a leaf. Well, not just a bug. It's a wing. It's the wing of a bug. Which is pretty neat. It's certainly a different way of doing it. I also like that it makes it a lopsided heart. <laughs> which is fun. I think it's definitely not Rue 1. Um, we haven't gotten a bug badge since, since um, Bugsies. Um, uh, and I, I think that that's a pretty solid way to move forward. Thought it was a leaf? I can understand. Maybe I've just seen a lot of bug wings in my life. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> but but I quite like the insect badge. Um, solid name, too. Alessa does finally gift us a, just a lightning bolt <laughs> with her bolt badge. Um, disappointing. You know, she's so visually interesting. You'd think her badge would be... A little bit more interesting than just a lightning bolt. It's not even that interesting with colors. You know, yellow, very similar to the gold edge that they all share. And then an orange. Uh, makes me wish it was white and yellow instead. But whatever. Whatever, I guess. <laughs> Give her spotlight badge, damn it. That would have been neat. That would have been real cool. <laughs> Next up, this one's actually pretty pretty neat. The Quake badge. So, remember how someone said 
that Roxanne's badge looked like tectonic plates. That's what they're doing here. This is tectonic plates. You can see the layers of the earth and there's been an earthquake, which is why it, it's not just straight up and down like the boring basic badge, but it's like been shifted down because an earthquake happened. The, tecto the tectonic plates shifted. I think that's really, really cool. <laughs> um, I don't want it on my backpack, but that's real flippin' neato. <laughs> Maybe let's add a tier called neato. <laughs> <laughs> we'll add that above uh 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 oh 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 there we go we'll make a gray why not no one can stop me <laughs> and we can put in uh for this this tier this is for all the ones that it's more than good enough that it's like clever um uh uh clever this one's also clever that one's clever. Neato. <laughs> With all the not lightning bolts of the others, a lightning bolt ironically stands out. You're not wrong. <laughs> My dumb ass was like, it looks like a certain building on a certain day of wow, Sariza. <laughs> Go sit in the corner and think about what you've done. You're not wrong, but... <laughs> But let's perhaps move on <laughs> to the jet badge that we get from Skyla. Um, not great. So, okay, if you look, turn your head, it's like a bird flying, and then, like, it's got, like, like dust speed. Like, it feels like a badge that should have been rotated horizontally. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it had to stick in line with the the slim look. But then if that, if that was the case, why wouldn't the bird be flying upwards, you know? I don't like it. It just ends up looking like a wing. Like a football teal logo. You're right, it is giving football. I don't like this one. I'm gonna call it... Is it ugly? I'm gonna call it boring. I don't like it. It's just boring. It's supposed to be a falcon dive bombing. I see, you know? That does help it a little bit. Falcons do dive bomb. But, um... Uh, I still don't like it. I guess I'll put in a root one instead, though. <laughs> it does kind of read as writing quill. You're not wrong. Off topic, I really like Alessa's black and white 2 design a lot. She was... Gay. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> I liked her first design better. I agree that the second one was pretty solid, uh, but uh, I don't know, the first one was just really iconic. I think if she had cooler shoes for round two, I would have liked it more, but the shoes were really, really boring. Now let me scroll down again. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Cause I don't know the name of this, this bad boy. Okay, that's the Freeze Badge from Bryson. Um... Eh. It's not great. <sighs> sure. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I guess. It looks like a silver eye. It does kind of look like an eye. It's... I, it's I, I think it's supposed to be like... Icicles dripping down. Yeah, hanging icicles. It, this is kind of boring. I don't love the colors on it either. I guess it does look icy, but it's just like... I don't know, I feel like we could have done something better. I feel like Bryson especially uh, hurts from this really vertical look that the uh, Unova gym badges have. However, in comparison, we've got Drayden and Iris's Legend badge, an exciting name. This looks more like dark. Like, just kind of dark energy. But it is cool looking. <laughs> uh, does that make it good enough? Or does that put it into that ain't right? You know, I think that ain't right. It does, it's giving saw blade. It's giving spiky helmet. Um, it's, uh... It's not giving dragon. Throw it in the sharp spin badge badge. 
<laughs> yeah, it's he. It's. Mm, <laughs> I think it's cool looking, uh, but not cool enough to go on my backpack. So that ain't right. <laughs> Finally, a bit of a boring name, the Toxic Badge from Roxy, which just kind of looks like, you know, Tattle and Tail from Majora's Mask. You know, the purple one, which I'm pretty sure is Tail. <laughs> it looks like Tail flying around. Like, that's a fairy. That's an Ocarina of Time Majora's Mask dark fairy. And, uh, thought it was supposed to be like Dragon Breath. Maybe... Maybe a cool eye. I don't know. I don't know what Drayden and Iris have going on there. But, um, uh, Dark Fairy for poison? Because it's like, it looks like a, like a noxious butterfly. I really like it, actually. I think I like it so much. Is it neato? No, it's stunning. I like Roxy's gym badge a whole lot. Whenever you say that ain't right, I just think of Hank Hill saying that boy ain't right. I almost... Named the the tier that boy ain't right, but then I was worried people wouldn't get the reference. <laughs> Need a skull and bones on the top, not a circle. Listen, this was like two thousand eight. You know, Pokemon was still too scared to put skulls in their in their games. <laughs> I think it's supposed to look like poison gas. Either way, it's it's doing it well. I, I like it. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> Next up, we've got the... This is such a boring title. This is Viola's badge. The gym type gym leader of Kalos. This is the bug badge. And I guess that is a bug. You know, it's as unique as the hive badge. But I kind of hate the colors. It does kind of give handbag a little bit. 2008 didn't know you know if it was that old. I actually, I don't know <laughs> for certain <laughs> when any of the games came out. <laughs> Kalos are my favorite Geb. Jen, I mean Geb. <laughs> it does kind of look like a door knocker. Oh, it was 2011. I was close. I was close. Anyway, um, not as good as Hive. Hive's a cute little ladybug and it's good. I agree. The fact that it's like this is kind of nondescript. This looks like a cicada shell. You know when a cicada, like, l like ditches its shell and molts or whatever? It's, it's, I, I guess it's not boring. I'll put in a root one. It's just a bug. It's just like, eh. Eh. <laughs> Should have been called the beetle badge. That would have helped a lot. I think. But just generic bug badge? It's too generic. They do look like dopey eyes. <laughs> uh, the Cliff Badge. Great name. Since um, uh, Grant does his, like, wall climbing stuff. And I guess I can see... You know, for being a rock-type gym, it's like, okay, well, what else are you gonna do? That does look like layers of rock. I'll, I'll put it into Neato. No, I'll put it into good enough. <laughs> I do like the steppy of it. Again... Conveying his his wall climbing, but uh, it is also it does kind of look like floor tiles again. <laughs> Looks like I went to Lowe's and took a sample. <laughs> the rock ones are hard. As Brock kind of stole the one, like solid option <laughs> right off the bat. <laughs> Next up, we got the Rumble Badge. Very cool name. This is from Karina. Um, and, you know, I think this one's... I'm going to call it good enough. It does what Brawlies and Chucks were trying to do, but, like, actually successfully. <laughs> However, I do kind of wish it looked like her rollerblades or her helmet, because Karina... Why y'all keep talking about floor tiles? <laughs> Cause they look like floor tiles! Look at that! That? That's a floor tile. This one? That's some floor tiles. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, Karina has such a strong theme with her, um, with her rollerblades. And I, I wish we got that instead of just some more, uh, uh, you know, boxing gloves. Um, but it goes into good enough because, again, she does what Brawly and Chuck couldn't quite do as successfully. <laughs> All you had to do was add a butt cleavage. To what? To 
<laughs> to which one? To the rocks? <laughs> Skater badge, for real though. Another very boring name. Uh, Ramos's plant badge. Yeah, that's boring. That's just like a leaf. It's just like a leaf. And the name being just the plant badge. Leaf, boring, badge, boring, boo. <laughs> oh, those are boxing gloves. Thought it was more like floor tiles. <laughs> it's the best looking leaf they ever made. I disagree. Uh, if we're gonna call Giovanni's a leaf, that's, that's a swell leaf. Um, this... It's just boring. <laughs> Again, I think it's another one that isn't helped by being just one color. It looks like- I like it, it looks royalty. It's not terrible. You know, it's not going into ugly. <laughs> but I just- I guess if we were gonna have a leaf, I would like a little something extra going on. You know? It's not just a leaf, it's also a tree. Yeah, I guess. Alright, you know, you've convinced me. It can go into room one. <laughs> what do we do for the grass gym? Uh, we'd make a leaf. Okay, well, but what do you think? We make a tree. What if we just make a tree, but then make the whole thing leaf-shaped, so it's like both? Why is it called the plant badge? Because it plants. That's it. Literally. <laughs> he plants things. It looks like a plant. Just plant. Boring. <laughs> Clement's badge. Badge is just like a corporate logo. It really is the Voltage badge, which is next. Uh, I guess I certainly couldn't call it boring. It, the problem with the Voltage badge is that it's like... I can't see it. The yellowy orange of the badge color like matches the gold that they all feature too closely. And so it's like, what is that? That's that I that I squished a bug that happened to be made out of made out of gold or something, you know? <laughs> um if if the background was a better color, I would like it better. Uh but you know, I think I'm going to call it good enough. It's not quite neato, but but more than root 1. <laughs> Kind of superhero-y. It is a little superhero-y. Kind of thing you'd expect, yeah, them to, like, open their shirt. And that's on their, the, the inside of the, you know, Superman style. <laughs> Should have been blue like his jumpsuit. See, Orion, now we're thinking with portals. That's a great idea. <laughs> you're, you're right. You are correct. Uh, this color's the worst part about it. If it had that blue, then it would absolutely go up higher. Next up, the fairy badge. It's a tough one. It's really, like, long. I do like how it looks. It's just hard to see because, I don't know, it feels really squat and squinty. Looks like it should go with the, uh, 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 Unova badges, huh? Um, also, the fairy badge. You'll never guess. This is, you know, Valerie's fairy gym. <laughs> What are we humming or doing? It's just a butterfly. It kind of, well, it's just a butterfly, but also it looks like her outfit. That's what it is. Thing about Valerie uh, with her long sleeved kimono, it's like her with her sleeves out. So I do like the fairy badge a lot. I just wish it wasn't this, this wide goofy kind of shape. Um, but I am gonna put it into stunning. You can't stop me. <laughs> Perfect shape for my fly swatter. <laughs> she has the best looking gym design and gym trainers, but the badge, I think it's neat. It's just really, really hard to see. <laughs> it feels like we're a million miles away from it. <laughs> uh, but, but I think it's cool. If I wasn't putting it into stunning, I would at least put it into neato because it being her outfit is is a, a pretty cool idea for being the first fairy badge like they could have done like a much more basic thing than than style it after the gym leader so i think that's pretty cool next badge is the ugliest to you the psychic badge really it looks like it may it makes for a better earring than a badge this one feels the least like a badge if you ask me, um, it is a little boring, but not just boring. Eh, eh, 
It's either the mind wafting upward or we go into space with this one. It is the mind wafting upward. It is Olympia's psychic badge. They must have started running out of names because that's the second badge now. That's just <laughs> the type. <laughs> More like poison. I'm getting psychic plenty. It might be a little hard to see. There is detailing in the gold that makes it look dreamy. You know, that kind of thought mist that that so often is used in things like Pokemon uh, to convey the psychic type. And it is Olympia's purple. I guess I couldn't call it a root one. Good enough, I suppose. Yeah, it's good enough, but I don't love this one by any means. I do wish we had something better going on up here. Um, personally. <laughs> Maybe Dream Mist Badge? Yeah, you know, honestly, just a better name. Yeah, if it had been called the Dream Badge, then then we'd be, like, fucking, you know, working it. But just the Psychic Badge? The name is not helping. It has been a while since we got a Ghost Badge. When was the last one? We had Morty. And then Fantina. But I think you're right. I think that's been it. And it's gonna be a little bit until we get the next one as well, I think. Yeah, yeah, because the final badge for the uh, uh, Kalos region is the Iceberg Badge, Wolfric's Badge. It's, you know what? Every Ice Badge we get just makes prices look worse. <laughs> oh, this one's a snowflake, but also the Icy Mountains slash an Iceberg. <laughs> I'm going to call it a, a better... I like this better than Ramos's plant badge, and I think it's because they're using not only the shape, but also the use of gold. There's just a lot more going on here. If Ramos's leaf had more detailing in it, then I would like it a lot better. Um, versus the iceberg badge. You know, it's kind of the same thing again. It's like if Price and um, Candace fuse their badges together, really. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it actually reads as Snowflake. And uh, it's, you know, if it works, it works, I guess. <laughs> Wolfric, my favorite gym leader, and he's got the best badge. I, you know, I never liked Wolfric much, but I think it's because Wolfric annoyed me because it takes so long to get to him. Because and it's really Team Flare's fault. So I've got those negative feelings towards Wolfric. Uh, irrationally. I I don't hate the idea. I also think he's a little bit boring as a concept. So, oh, I'm a gym leader, but like... And so I'm an ice-like gym leader. But I don't mind the cold. Okay, Elsa. <laughs> but he's not the worst by any means. <laughs> if you told me that was the flag of Colorado, I'd believe you. <laughs> It does look like a sport team crest, doesn't it? <laughs> like, you know, oh man, it's time for the, the Colorado Icebergs. You know, and it's like, they, they do hockey. <laughs> uh, but if we jump over Alola because Alola does not have gym badges. Uh, uh, which means we jump to Galar. With uh, the grass badge. Gifted by my Milo. Um, I- and you'll notice Galar's badges are these goofy-doofy shapes because they, like, all fit together. I don't like that much, personally. Um, they look swell when all together, I guess, but, like, individually, they're just, like, they just kind of look, like, doofy. It lo it's like you get- got a bunch of rocks and you just start drawing on the rocks. They're also all just, like, this bronze with one color, which hurts them a lot, too. The Galar- Galar region, fun enough. The gym leaders- Really excellent. The badges, they're, they're, they're struggling. <laughs> I agree, they do look better in the ring you get. They really do. They really do. But, so, this, this is boring. This is boring. This is just a leaf. <laughs> just a green leaf. And I, it's gonna be rough. I don't want to just put them all into boring. Um, but I might... Do I have all of them? <laughs> why is why why is Raihan's next? <laughs> that shouldn't be right. <laughs> Broken half frosted cookies. You're right. <laughs> they do look like cookies. 
I don't like the Galar badge system. Like, brother, I cannot put my pins on my backpack jacket in a sphere. I know, right? It's, it was a cute idea, but I don't know. I, I just don't love. I, I'm glad they didn't stick with that. <laughs> the water badge. We're skipping to the next one in the line. The water badge by Nessa. Ugly. That does not look even like water. In a world where even just a boring misty water drop would have been better. That's not anything. That's nothing. That's that's three blobs. Someone spilt some blue paint on a cookie. <laughs> God forbid an early game dragon gym leader. Dragon types are really only worthwhile once they evolve. But they don't evolve until like level like 75. So it makes sense that they're... They're a late late game thing. <laughs> Fire badge, by the way. This is uh, as room one, I guess. As you know, if I can put Blaine and Flannery up here, it's as good as theirs. I gotta say. I maybe I just like the look of fire. <laughs> oh look, the splish badge. <laughs> Which, by the way, the badge names seem to just be the, um, the type. It's been the fire badge. And next is, like, the fighting badge. You know, the ghost badge. So, it looks like they ran out of fun little names. <laughs> I think after Kalos, the designer got lazy with designing the badges. I'm sure it's not just one guy. We're missing the fighting badge. No, we're not. It's right here. You'll notice the fighting badge and the ghost badge. Like, it's the same shape because... They're dependent on the game. A cute idea. I'm glad they didn't keep doing that. Because I want to be able to fight all of them. But B gives us the fighting badge. I hate the yellow color. That's just... It's not right. Fighting is not yellow. B isn't even yellow. I guess it is a fist. It's root one. It's just a fist. A fist going, going whoosh. <laughs> it should have been a foot. Not because I'm a foot person, but because... B's stance, like the way she fights, she's barefoot, and it, it implies that she does kicking when she does her her brawling, and uh, uh, should have been a foot. At least it would have been more interesting than you know the f f fucking f billion fist. <laughs> I think they did their best, but man, it's hard to try and represent simple concepts like water. Interestingly, many times it's true. I can uh, appreciate that it's like, oh, is this like still water? Are we looking down? But this cookie color <laughs> that they all have as a background really isn't helping. <laughs> Ghost badge from Alistair, by the way. You know, this is probably one of the more interesting ones. I guess that, you know, I mean, it's a purple sperm. But what is a ghost but a purple sperm? <laughs> I'll put that one into good enough. <laughs> Isn't fighting a brown color? If so, then it makes sense they changed it. Fighting is orange. That's the thing. Fighting has been, you know, consistently represented with an orangey red. A brick color, as it were. Um, so, not a problem against this tan background color. It's like Mewtwo Shadow Ball. It is actually. That is a, a much better way to, to suggest <laughs> a ghost. <laughs> That's a nice purple sperm though. It is. It's got a little extra going on with the circle and the swooshels. It's certainly better than just a leaf. <laughs> um, the fairy badge from Opal. Impossible to see. I'm sorry guys. It's a pink fairy. On, on the cookie. It's, I'm gonna say, probably the, one of the better looking ones. Opal took the boring option that uh, Valerie passed on previously. Uh, but yeah, the pink is really difficult to see on this tiny cookie shard. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's incredibly root one. It's, and by a fairy, it's like kind of a minimalist fairy. The wing kind of has a heart in it, so it's like... You know, it, it works. Yeah, cookie, cookie's the best way to describe them. <laughs> You're really not wrong. <laughs> Fuck the colorblind, I guess. It's definitely easier to see in game, but um, it seeing it clearer doesn't really do it a ton of like help. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is the rock badge from my least favorite gym leader, Gordy. He should be ground. I always forget he's not. His is another one that's really difficult to see. It's gray. 
Which, I, I guess you have to choose gray, you can't go with brown. But, um, it's still not that easy to see. And it's, ah, it's like, just like a vague rectangle. Which I guess... I'm gonna put it in that, that ain't right. That looks more like steel. <laughs> I've gotta be honest. <laughs> if I saw that, I wouldn't think, oh, a rock. I would think, yeah, that kind of looks like metal, I guess. Looks like one of the one of the rocks you break open in the volcano in Stardew Valley. <laughs> you know, a late game rock leader is cool, I guess. He's he's all right. In terms of like a fight, <laughs> I do like seeing. You know, things like grass be late game and uh, rock get to be late game. But, um, yeah, the badge isn't that good. <laughs> the one thing I don't regret buying a shield for, Gordy. I got his hot ass mama. I know, that's the thing. You guys, shield gets ice mom. What's her name? Melanie. And Alistair. And I got stuck with... Gordy and B? Boring. Boring a sin. <laughs> I think, I still think that as a sword player, I should get to fight Alistair and Melanie for the Elite Four. Like, instead of re-fighting uh, Raihan and B, I should have had to fight the others. Whatever. What even ever. Whatever. Whatever. I I'm not even mad. I think it's because I saw a cute comic featuring him and Leon. Yeah, that would help. Comics can do a lot. <laughs> um, Melanie's badge, it's like just an ice cube. And you know, I've got to give it to her. It's not another snowflake. <laughs> it's goofy as fuck. But it's not just another snowflake. <laughs> Melanie's badge should be a snowflake. I mean, snowman. Snowman would have been better, I think. Especially with, like, Darmanitan. You know, Galar Darmanitan being, like, a snow a snowman guy. I think that would have been cool. Thought it was a mask in shadow. I do see how you thought that. It can, like, if you don't know any better, it kind of gives, like, like, um, uh, uh, Meta Knight from Kirby. <laughs> but, uh, no, that's a nice cube. <laughs> feels sarcastic. I know it's not, but it's so bluntly just an ice cube. I know! It feels like- it was like, okay, Melanie, what do you want your gym badge to look like? Make it an ice cube. Th that's it? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Dark badge. I want to be- I want to- I want to make sure that I'm not biased, or at least too biased, because I do really, really like Pierce, and I like the dark type. This is the first dark type gym badge. We had no nothing to work with before now. Um, but honestly, even avoiding my biases of having a big sloppy crush on Pierce, this is really cool. It's like a little devil guy. Like we got like a, a nye -he, he smile and some horns. It's it's probably one of the better versions of this, you know, one color on a broken cookie. Uh, uh, so that's great. Should have been a metal hand. Don't know what it's called. I don't. Oh, like a like the the devil horn hand symbol. You know, like when you're rocking out when you got your pinky and your uh, pointer finger up. I think there's an emote for it. What? Oh, <laughs> I was typing into chat. <laughs> <laughs> for an emote uh, forgetting that those are like my emotes <laughs> not like not like on the phone <laughs> I think it's cool for these ones yeah 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 I think I think it's yeah the best one of these and even for so like being like how do we do dark it could have just been a black swirl you know um but having it be like a little a little devil guy, I think that's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Wish the presentation of Pierce was better than what they did. They should have just had vocals in the game. They should have had vocals. I agree. That was weird. I stand by. I've said this before and I'll keep saying it. Um, if they don't want vocals in Pokemon, I think that's great. You know, we don't always need voice acting. Um, however, I think humans should get vocal grunts like how the Pokemon get. 
You know, your Pokemon, you know, you know, when they move around and jump and stuff, when they emote in cutscenes, they make noises. You know, a character could be like, come on, Pikachu, and Pikachu would, would be like, Pika! And then, like, you know, run around. Um, but, but humans don't, and I think humans should get to go like, haha, uh, uh, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> if they just gave us that, it would be a lot less awkward. Um, the Dragon Badge. I don't know why I looked at the name as if it would have anything other than Dragon Badge. <laughs> this is from Raihan. Uh, you know, it is a cool dragon guy. I don't like it as much as Claire's. Uh, but you know, it's, it's good enough. It's a dragon. You know, it, honestly, it's kind of Route 1. You know, I'm gonna say it. <laughs> It, it, it's just a dragon head. We've gotten that before. Surely we can think of this shape as well. This could have been a cool dragon wing. Um, the dragon head is not bad, but just a little over one at this point. We could do better. If we did get vocals, I just want a trainer or a leader to scream randomly. I feel like I disagree. <laughs> I would want there to be a reason for it. <laughs> Um, and now we get to the Paldea badges. I'm not gonna say their names because it's just the name of the town that they're from. Uh, uh, and because my phone is c cooking alive. I'm <laughs> trying to have Bulbapedia loaded up. <laughs> uh, but that just means it's up to me to remember the name of the gym leaders, which shouldn't be a problem. Mario Kart icons. You're not wrong. They do kind of look like that. <laughs> Man, oh man, I don't know if I like the fact they're a clear setter for it's super, super boring. I like that, you know, because they try to keep them consistent in different ways. You know, like, you know, being thin or and having the, the gold trim and stuff. I think I agree. I do like it better when they're just like, that one's a heart and that one's a rainbow and this one's a flower and that one's a circle. You know, I think I agree with that idea. Um, but if they want them to match, then that's okay. But we just have to judge them based on the criteria they opted to make them with. So, they are a little bit more boring, I gotta say. So this is Katie's badge. She's the bug type gym leader. Wow, it's another bug. And it's not even another ladybug. We don't even get like a bee. It's just a bug. It's as interesting as Viola's. Um, so, sorry. Sorry, Katie. I wish, you know, they've been very conservative on the color with these badges and it makes sense for Paldea because like I said it's not just these eight there's 18 badges <laughs> in Paldea so giving them all one strong color to help differentiate them is perhaps a good idea uh, but it still stands that this is boring a spider would have been cool it would have been I agree or at least I wish we got like Something like clear bug antennae. Because Katie's... So first, the bug terrestrializing uh, design. It gives them big antennae. And Katie's design, her hat, uh, has a pattern that makes it look like she's got little bug antenna. So if we had gotten cute, a bug just with antennae, and not another sort of beetle, um, then I think I would have liked this a lot more. But as it is, it's Rue one. Next up is Brassius's gym. He's the grass gym leader. And you know what? I gotta give it to him. It took us nine generations and we finally got a grass gym where the the badge is just blades of grass. <laughs> I didn't think it could happen. <laughs> it looks just as mid as I figured it would have. <laughs> Brassius is another one that I feel like we could have worked with his vines. He's got a very vine heavy design. Not only with his whip, but... His hair resembles, you know, like, spiked vines as well. I'm gonna put it into Route Good enough. Because it's not Route 1. Because it, it, it took them this long to do blades of grass. <laughs> the grass makes an M for mid. <laughs> Paldea badges should have looked like the gym leaders. I, you know, I'm gonna agree. These aren't terrible, though. <laughs> I love how surprised at least two of you for my B knowledge. <laughs> K 
can't believe any human being knows any character names from the B movie. Oh, I thought you were just saying <laughs> random names. Is Benson actually one of the characters? Is that the B? Is that Jerry S S Jerry Seinfeld? <laughs> Is his name actually Benson? <laughs> That's crazy. What? A I wonder how that movie got made. <laughs> Next up, Iono. Iono, us another one. They they have such strong things that they could have worked with, and these these designs. Did I say? Did I, I almost said Jerry Springer. <laughs> Iono is so fun. Um, she with her pink and blue and and I don't know a lightning like a. A, 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 a light bulb. A light bulb. It should have been a light bulb because that's what the Terra looks like. And also, like, she's got her belly bolt and he's, like, just a big light bulb guy. It should have looked like a light bulb. Instead, we've got this boring ass lightning bolt. It's Rue 1. It's more than Rue 1. It's boring. That's just boring. It's not even exciting lightning bolt. Like, like, like Alessa's was. It would have been funny if Brassy's badge was just a sunflower pin. That would have been great. <laughs> like he made it. <laughs> it's Pikachu's tail. And Pikachu's tail is a lightning bolt. Also, Pikachu's tail has a black tip. So you're wrong. <laughs> uh, 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 should have been a camera. I don't know. I like, I like, I don't mind it being not, you know, their character theme. You know, I don't, I don't need Katie's to be look like muffins or something. But, um, but just a lightning bolt is boring. Uh, Mandela effect strikes again. What do you mean? Oh, it, Pikachu's tail does not have a black tip. No, it does. No, it does not. But it does fade to brown on the other end, so I'm still right. Where did I get that? Oh, its ears are black. <laughs> Pikachu's ear tips are black. <laughs> fake fan, fake fan. Next up is Cascarafa's gym with, uh, fuck. It's not Crash or Wake. What's his name? <laughs> Boy, howdy. Kofu! Kofu's gym. He's a chef. And he's got, again, a very... A drop -o lit for real. <laughs> it's got a very, um, a wave heavy design. It should have been a wave. We haven't gotten a wave. This was the perfect opportunity for it to just be a cool wave. And say we got another drop -o lit. Boring. It's boring. But you know, actually, I'm gonna put it into room one. And the only reason why is because we get the detailing in the droplet to give it like shine. That's it. If it was just a, a solid teardrop shape, it'd be in boring. Like Iono's lightning bolt. Valden Valooza. I think it every time I encounter a Valooza. <laughs> they just did the emotes. They really did. <laughs> they really, really did. <laughs> no, this is the era where we do less for anything not competitive now. I don't know if that's true, but... That badge is boring. That badge is unfathomably root one. Uh, Larry's is fascinating. This is Larry's normal type badge. Um, I don't know what this is supposed to be. Kamala? Uh, maybe? Like a... It's like a ring. <laughs> but it's got like two lumps. Some, ear some ears. Awesome circle. You know, it's... It do be a circle. Love clear. <laughs> it does look like a mouse hole with its mouth open. My favorite color is clear. <laughs> I don't think it's Rue 1. I think I'm gonna put it in a good enough. I can't call it Neato because I can't fucking figure out what it's supposed to be. It does look normal. And I don't think I can think of anything else that it could have been. It looks like that's the clasp of his uh, suitcase. You know, like, 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 you know, <laughs> I could see it being that. So it's, it's as basic as Larry is. It's doing what it needs to do. <laughs> that could be much worse. That could, it could be the plane badge. <laughs> I, 
love Larry. Larry's 10. Next up, we've got Ryan back with another fun little ghosty goo. My problem. It kind of looks like a slime guy. Am I wrong? He kind of looks like he's made out of poison. Like, like this is a poison puddle slime. I think it's just enough ghost looking. So that's okay. That's good enough. A part of me does wish we, it was like a skeleton thing. Because, again, Rhyme's design. She's, like, her hair is designed to look like a skeleton hand. Also, like, graveyard and stuff. It could be a tombstone. Um, however, those are all gray or white. Um, which, I, I don't know. I feel like, you know, we're playing a dangerous game putting that on a gray-white background. Clearly, seeing as how we've already got that going with Larry. So, it, this is all right. It's, again, good enough. It helps that this motif hasn't overstayed its welcome. Cough, cough, water drop. <laughs> but, um, music note with a skull. See, that would have been fucking sick. <laughs> I wish, I wish it was better with rhyme. But, uh, I guess the job done. Mom, I want muck. We got muck at home. Muck at home. <laughs> um, uh, fine. We got the Tulips Psychic Badge. I think that's just the psychic design. Like, for the, um... No! I was gonna say for the, uh, uh, what's it fucking called? <laughs> Card game. But the cards don't have psychic. Or, well, if they do, it's lumped in with ghost and poison. It's the eye. Um, I'm surprised we haven't had an eye designed badge. Like a third eye. Um, this is just boring. Honestly, it looks like a flower. You know, I'm gonna put it into that ain't right. I would guess that's a, th this would be a fairy gym first. Because it looks like a flower. Cute pink flower. Um, it's not terrible. But, uh... It's just not quite right. I think maybe a slightly different color could have helped. But it's just a boring ring. You're not wrong. To avoid religious symbolism, probably. How do you mean? Th that we're not getting the eye? I mean, that's what it is for the, uh... For the card games. You know? So, just just a pink eye? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Zelda's got eyes all over it. You know? <laughs> with the, the Sheikah. So, I'm sure that they can do it. Uh, however, it wouldn't work that well with Tulip anyway, because she demonstrably is one of the few psychic-type gym leaders who isn't actually psychic. She just, like, does makeup. <laughs> She's just a business mogul. <laughs> so, uh, uh, that's alright. We can stick with boring wave, but it does end up looking more fairy than psychic, if you ask me. Um, maybe a closed eye. Wouldn't that be funny? Instead of a third eye opening, it's just her eyes being like, this is my eyeshadow. <laughs> That'd be pretty cute. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, and then finally, we've got, uh, Grusha's ice badge. It's just another snowflake. And you know what? I gotta be honest. Starting to get boring. I'm gonna put it in a root one. It's not as interesting as, uh, Wolfric's... It's a super snowflake mountain iceberg. <laughs> this one is good, actually. It's not like I just like Grusha. <laughs> it it can it can go right alongside the root one teardrop, uh, in that it has the same level of detailing, but it's it's not too anything special. I gotta be honest. It's it's just the fifth snowflake, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but this is not a bad spread. I'll post this on Twitter with only three and ugly. Fascinatingly, two are water as well. I didn't expect that. <laughs> three and ugly and a pretty decent spread on my stunning category. Nito is also a, an excellent addition, I gotta say. <laughs> Even if we did end up not adding anything to it after I created the, the tier. <laughs> Can't believe there isn't one snowman. I know. There are some things that it's like, why do we keep jumping to lightning bolts when we could do something like a light bulb? You know, we've had plenty of different, you know, electricity themed, like overtly power themed uh, gym leaders. We could have gotten that, you know, with, you know, back in Kalos even. But, you know, we just keep jumping back to, to vague lightning bolts, except for Surge, who 
Didn't get the memo. <laughs> I like the square. It's so lame. I love it. <laughs> the good, the bad, and the floor tiles. <laughs> Fire badges have honestly been very basic and samey. They are. They are saved often by having interesting colors. And by virtue of being fire, a, a nebulous shape. You know, water is pretty consistently conveyed as a teardrop. Fire, you know, we got three different flames right here and they're all totally different shapes, which I think helps a lot. But you're not wrong. We could be doing the volcano badge. Doesn't look like a volcano. We could absolutely be doing that. Um, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> but I, I think you're right. I'd like to see a little bit more going on with the fire. Fire badges, ice badges, water badges, uh, and bug. Bug started off so strong and then so swiftly has, you know, defaulted to just generic bug shape, uh, which it's just boring. It's boring if you ask me. Gym badges should have been themed around the leader to avoid sameness. I don't mind them being themed around the type of the leader. Um... How- my big thing is, like I said, I do prefer the ones that are, like, like a thing you know they've they've gone out of the way to make badges match you know in the in the more recent games which is like fine but i like it a little bit better when they're just kind of it's like the wild west of gym badges but that's all right where are the an anime only badges i didn't get those pngs this already took me long enough <laughs> Uh, but yeah, yeah, as we move forward, it absolutely- it wouldn't hurt to theme badges more around the gym leader and not just the type. But, uh, what are you gonna do, I guess? I guess you're gonna have the- the seven millionth iteration of- of just a water drop. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Wow, a, a longer stream than I anticipated, but I had a lot of fun. <laughs> That, wow, there aren't that many steel type gyms, huh? Is it just the two? Is it just Jasmine and Byron? I guess they all end up being in a, the Elite Four, kind of like the ghosts. There's, I was surprised that there are a few ghosts as well. Trash badge. That'd literally actually be cute. That would be pretty cute. <laughs> Need one drop that's just a cub chew head. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> a seashell is another great way to do to do water. There's so many of them are beach themed as well. Ah, uh, so clearly, uh, Game Freak needs to hire all of us to design all the badges. <laughs> but yeah, 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 that's gonna be it for today. Uh, 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 adios. <laughs> I'm glad you all had fun. I certainly had fun. This was great. And uh, have a good one. Uh, uh, sleep good. Eat your vegetables, drink your water, all that jazz. And goodbye. <laughs>